Hello and welcome to your practice. This practice is yoga for chest, shoulders, and upper back. What you're gonna need for your practice today is a little bit of padding for your knees, unless you're on a carpet and your knees feel extra cushioned. Uh, you're gonna need a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you could use a bathrobe tie, um, a men's necktie that you don't uh, need anymore. And you're gonna need two yoga blocks. Um, or maybe some books or something to, um, to use in place of the yoga blocks. So have those handy. We're gonna do some easy poses for the chest, shoulders, and upper back. We're gonna get started on hands and knees in table pose. So that's where you'll need some padding for the knees. So grab that and we'll be on hands and knees. We're gonna have our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. Our fingers are spread nice and wide. Index fingers are parallel to each other. And index fingers are pointing straight ahead. So we're gonna exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, pull the belly button up. So really stretch the upper back. And then inhale, we're going to arch the back. Let the shoulders kind of squeeze together, let the neck be long and feel the chest stretch. So going with your breath, exhale, we're rounding. Inhale, we're arching, we're letting the belly stretch, let the chest stretch, a little squeeze of the upper back. And then we exhale, we round, and we're moving the shoulder blades apart. So moving the spine in these two opposite directions is really nice for the upper back and shoulders and chest. Something nice you can do every day, this cat pose keeps the spine loose, keeps the neck and shoulders loose, works the, even works the lower back a little bit, works the kidney area. Good, to come to a neutral spine, neutral neck, we're gonna shift back into child's pose. Big toes barely touch, knees separate apart a little bit, and then we're gonna bring our forehead down to rest on stacked hands. So let your elbows be nice and wide. Let your forehead rest on the stacked hands. You're going to have your bottom as close to the heels as possible, but don't over, over stretch it. Just let gravity kind of help you there. And take some big breaths into the shoulders, into the upper back, into the ribs and mid back, and into the low back. From child's pose, we're gonna go into downward dog. So in child's pose, stretch your hands as far forward as they'll go. Elbows are up off the mat. And then we'll come up into hands and knees. You can walk your knees a little closer together if they were wide for child's pose, which they probably were. Now take a look at the hands, fingers spread nice and wide, the index fingers pointing straight ahead. If your shoulders are tight here, have the hands just a little wider apart than your shoulders. We're going to curl the toes under, inhale with your exhale, lift the knees and the hips, and then shift the weight of the body back. So tuck your chin a little bit, top of the head points towards the floor, spread your toes out on the mat, pull the belly in and up, and we're going to walk it out a little bit. So one heel lowers and then the opposite heel lowers. So just a good stretch for the backs of the legs, but it's also a good stretch for the hips and the spine and the shoulders. So we wanna to try to lift the shoulders up away from the mat, up away from the ears, and then the head is relaxing down, so the neck is long. Keep that belly pulling in and up and just walk it out a little bit. One heel lowers, other heel lowers. Bring your heels level with each other, come down to knees, and you're gonna shift back into child's pose. So big toes barely touching, Knees separate apart a little bit. Let your forehead rest on stacked hands. A couple breaths into the whole back body, but also into the belly. So on the inhale, feel the belly press into the thighs. Good, and then nice and slow, come up to sitting. We're gonna come all the way down onto our belly for what I call prone arm lift. So you can take that padding out from underneath if you like. We're gonna stretch all the way down onto our belly. <clears throat> We're gonna have our legs just a little bit wide. 
our feet just a little bit wide. And we're going to fold our arms and we're going to stack our right hand on top of the left. And then we're going to rest our forehead on the top of the right hand. We're going to keep the head down on the hands and lift just your right elbow as high as it will go towards the ceiling and then lower it down. We're going to do a total of five. Lift your right elbow up, lower it back down to the floor, lift and lower. We're going to inhale on the lift and exhale on the lower. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift your right elbow, exhale, lower it. Now we're going to switch the hands. So your right hand will be on the bottom, your left hand will be on top. Your forehead is going to rest on the top of the left hand. We're going to inhale, lift the left elbow as high as it will go. Exhale, lower it to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. We'll do two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one of these. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now we're going to keep the forehead on the left hand. Keep it in contact with the left hand the whole time. And we're going to inhale and lift the left arm up so your forehead's still on the back of the hand. And exhale, lower your left arm down. Inhale, lift the whole left arm up. Keep your legs a little firm. Exhale, lower. We're going to do a total of five. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now let's switch the hands. Left hand on the bottom, right hand on top. Our forehead is going to rest on the top of the left hand. We're going to keep our forehead in contact with the, uh, on top of the right hand. We're going to keep our forehead in contact with that right hand. And inhale, lift the right arm and hand all the way up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep your legs a little firm, bottom a little firm. Exhale, lower. Total of five. Inhale, lift the right arm. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower, and last one. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower, and then slide your hands underneath the shoulders. Lift yourself up into hands and knees table. Grab that padding again if you had it for the knees, and we're going to come into that hands and knees table pose for just a couple of cat breaths. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, rounding. Tuck the chin. Inhale, arch. Stretch the belly. One more. Exhale, round. And inhale, arch. Okay, our next thing is going to be a version of thread the needle. So thread the needle is normally done from table pose, and the palm is up, and we bring our shoulder and our head down to the mat, and we hold there. This one is going to be kind of a flowing thread the needle but our palm is going to be down as if we're reaching for something with that hand. And then the shoulder will maybe tap down to the floor, but maybe not. It's just a nice stretch, but we're not going to hold it. We'll come back up to hands and knees table. So let's start in table pose. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're going to start with the right hand. Palm is down, and we're going to slide it through the left side, reaching, reaching, and bring that shoulder, maybe not even all the way to the floor. And inhale, come back up to table. Good, exhale and reach. Slide that hand across as if you're trying to reach something with the fingers. Inhale, come up to table. Exhale, slide that hand, right hand over to the left, and come back up to table. We're gonna do two more. Exhale, slide the hand over, lowering the shoulder. Come back up to table. Let's do one more. Exhale, slide the right hand to the left, and inhale and come back up to table. Now we're going to do the left hand over to the right side. So we keep the palm down, and we're going to slide it across over to the right, lower the left shoulder, not all the way to the floor, and then come back up to table pose. Slide the left hand to the right, lowering the shoulder. Good stretch. Inhale, come back up to table. Exhale, slide the left hand to the right, lower the shoulder. Inhale, come back up to table. We're going to take two more. Exhale, 
slide the left hand over to the right inhale come back up to table and last one of these exhale slide the left hand to the right inhale come back up to table let's come up to a high kneeling pose just take a few little wrist circles shake out the hands we're going to come down onto our side now so if you had padding under the knees you can scoot it off to the side you're going to need a little bit of padding or support for the head i'm going to use a yoga block but you could use a, a blanket folded or a pillow or cushion so i'm going to use a yoga block i'm going to start on my right side and we're just going to put that yoga block under the right side of the head the right arm is going to come out in a t position the palm is up my knees and hips are stacked head hips and heels all in a straight line we're going to be stretching the chest and the shoulder so let's bring our left hand fingers our left fingers to the back of the head and our left elbow points up towards the ceiling now here we're going to bring the left elbow back behind us but we want to keep our hips stacked and our knees stacked so we only go as far back with that elbow as we can keep the hips and knees stacked so left fingers behind the head we're going to inhale and open you can turn your chest and bring that left elbow back and then we're going to exhale bring the left elbow up we're going to do a total of five keep those knees and hips stacked you can even look down at the knees and hips we're going to inhale and open the left elbow turn your chest keep the knees and hips stacked exhale left elbow up to the ceiling inhale open the left elbow back to the left or back behind you exhale to the ceiling let's do two more inhale and open so it's a little twist but our hips and knees stay stacked exhale the left elbow up to the ceiling one more we're going to inhale and open that left elbow back behind you feel a good chest stretch upper back stretch shoulder stretch bring the left elbow up and then bring the left hand down and press into the floor lift yourself up and we're going to turn to the other side so you can simply roll over or you can turn to the other side of the mat we're going to lay on our left side get that support under the left side of the head your left arm is out in a t position palm is up hips and knees stacked head hips and heels in a straight line bring the right fingertips behind the head so your right elbow points up to the ceiling we're going to inhale bring the right elbow back behind you or to the right you can turn your chest but keep knees and hips stacked exhale right elbow points to the ceiling inhale open the elbow back behind you nice and slow exhale right elbow up to the ceiling inhale bringing that right elbow to the right or back behind you keep the knees and hips stacked exhale right elbow to the ceiling two more inhale open the elbow right elbow out to the right exhale it back up to the ceiling good and one more inhale open stretch the chest stretch the shoulders feel that upper back and exhale right elbow up to the ceiling now bring your right hand down to the mat and use it to bring you all the way up to sitting we're going to come onto our knees here's where you're going to need two yoga blocks so i'm going to turn away from the camera so you can see what i'm doing i'm going to use some padding for the knees i'm going to be in a high kneeling pose high kneeling pose i've got my yoga blocks my hips are going to be right over my knees i've got the blocks in my hands and i'm going to start with the blocks up overhead blocks are going to touch so we're going to kind of click the blocks overhead and click them back behind so inhale as you exhale bring the blocks back behind you and let the short ends of the block touch so big stretch for the chest inhale we're going to lift the blocks up overhead short ends touch exhale bring them down and back behind you touch the ends inhale lifting the blocks up touch the ends exhale bring the blocks down behind you tap pull your belly in and up as you're doing this inhale come up tap the blocks exhale come back behind you clicking the blocks we're going to do one more inhale the blocks come up and over and exhale the blocks 
come down and back behind you and then click them. Good, and then just set the blocks aside. Take a few little shoulder rolls. So that one's also good for proprioception. Proprioception is where your body is in space. Uh, so it's good to know it, it works the brain um, and helps us to have better alignment. Is one shoulder higher? Is one arm reaching further? So proprioception. The next thing we're gonna do is a camel with blocks. So we're gonna start, I'll turn away from the camera again, so just so you can kind of see what we're doing. We only need one block for this. So toes curled under, that's gonna give us a nice stretch to our arches. Our hips are over our knees. And we're gonna start with the block down by our right leg. Good, so my fingers are on the block. My left hand is gonna be up. And I'm gonna inhale and bring the, I'm gonna exhale and bring the right hand up and pass it to the left hand. Keep my right hand up and exhale and lower the block down. So you might need to lean a little to your left. Just see, I've got long arms, so it's a little easier for me. And then we're gonna inhale, bring the block up, pass it to the right hand, keep your left hand up and exhale the right hand, right block down. So almost like a camel pose. You can lift the heart, lift the chest, and arch this lower back. Good. Exhale, bring this hand down, pass it to the left hand, and then we're gonna lower the left block down. Good. Inhale, come up. I think I've mixed up the breathing. And exhale, lower the block down on the right side. Good. Inhale, up. If I mixed up the breathing for you, just breathe. Exhale, left hand down. Right hand is stretching up. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, right hand down. Good. Inhale, right hand up. Pass it to the left hand. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, left hand up. Pass it to the right hand. Exhale, right hand down. Let's do one more each side. Inhale, right hand up. And exhale, left hand down. One more time to the other side. Inhale, left hand up. And then exhale, right hand down. Let's bring the left hand down. Set that block aside and come into your hands and knees table for a few cat breaths. So wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips, fingers spread nice and wide. Let's exhale, round the spine. I can really feel that in my back. Inhale, arch, stretch the belly, squeeze the shoulder blades together, neck is long. Exhale, round, pull the belly button up snug. Inhale, arch. Let's take one more of those. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Come to neutral spine. Shift back into child's pose for a couple of breaths. So big toes barely touching, knees separate apart. Let your forehead rest on stacked hands. Wobble hips and shoulders a little side to side just to stretch out that whole back body. Good. We're going to take one more downward dog. From that downward dog, we're going to walk the hands back. We'll be into a standing forward fold. So from child's pose, stretch your hands as far forward as they'll go. Your elbows are up off the mat. Come up into your hands and knees. Those knees can come a little closer together. Curl your toes under. Inhale. With your exhale, lift up, shift back. Good. Tuck the chin. Put a little bend in the knees. Lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Now, look forward towards your hands a little bit. Nice bend in the knees. We're going to walk the hands back towards our feet into a standing forward fold. Let your heels come down. Keep that bend in the knees. Walk your feet a little, just a little wider than your hips. If you had padding under the knees, scoot it off. Keeping that bend in the knees, bring the hands up above the knees and lift the chest halfway up. Now here, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades. The neck is long, the back is flat, and you actually have a little healthy curve in the low back. Tailbone moving back behind you, crown of the head moving forward towards the top edge of your mat as you squeeze shoulder blades together. With strong legs, flat back, pull the belly in, squeeze the glutes just a little, and Hinge up with a nice long back all the way up to standing. Once you get up to standing, adjust your clothing. Let's take a few side swings. Separate your feet a little wider than the hips, and we're going to turn side to side. So we want that opposite heel to lift. When you turn to the right, left heel lifts. When you turn to the left, right heel lifts. Belly scoops in and up a little bit. Arms floppy. Shoulders relax. So here we don't want any tension in the shoulders. 
we want the shoulders and arms to relax completely. So a little twist. This kind of works our waistline. Pull the belly in and up. And this also lowers your blood pressure. Good. Let that slow down. Bring the feet to hip width apart. Knees and toes pointing straight ahead. We're going to take three sun breaths. Firm up the legs. Firm up the bottom a little bit. Pull the belly in and up. Arms at your side. Inhale. The hands come up. Exhale. The hands down. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. We're going to do one more of those. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Keep the arms down by your side. Take a few shoulder rolls up and back and down. Squeeze the shoulders up. Squeeze the shoulders back and pull them down. So go slow with this. Squeeze them up. Squeeze them back. Stretch the chest. Pull them down. Use your breath. Nice long breaths. In nice long inhales and exhales as you're rolling the shoulders. And then take one shoulder back and the other shoulder back. Little back stroke. So working the shoulders separately. Good. Shake that out. We're going to take a standing pull down. So we're going to have those feet hip width apart. By hip width, I mean where your hip bones are in the front going straight down, not the outside of your hips. We're going to do a standing pull down. I want you to put just a little micro bend in the knees. Keep that little micro bend in the knees. We're going to reach the hands up, spread the fingers, grab some imaginary handles, make a little fist, and exhale. Give yourself some imaginary resistance, isometric, and pull the hands down and squeeze the elbows back. Pull your belly in and up. Now open the fingers, reach up, grab our imaginary handles, make a little fist, and pull. Imagine there's resistance pulling down and back. Squeeze the elbows back behind you. It's slow. Spread the fingers. Inhale, reaching up. Make a little fist. Grab those handles and pull down nice and slow. Engage the arm muscles. Belly pulls in and up and pull those elbows back behind you. Spread the fingers. Reach the hands up. Grab our imaginary handles and pull down. Squeeze back, stretch the chest, work the upper back. Let's do one more. Spread the fingers, reach up, grab our imaginary handles, make a little fist and pull down and pull back and squeeze the shoulders and then drop the hands down. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Now here's where we're going to use our strap. So grab your strap, unwind it. We're going to have the feet hip width apart, little bend in the knees. We're going to have our strap, I don't know, about two and a half, three feet apart. So think of a yardstick, about two and a half, three feet apart. We're going to pull it apart, and we're going to inhale and lift it straight up overhead. And then exhale, lower it down. So keep that belly scooping in and up. Keep the knees just micro bend, little slight bend. Inhale, bring the strap up. Exhale, bring the strap down. We're going to do one more of those. Inhale, keep pulling it apart the whole time. There's no slack in the strap, just up overhead. And then exhale, bring the strap down. Now let there be slack in the strap and take a few of those shoulder rolls up and back and down, up and back and down. Good, all right, now we're gonna take that strap. We're gonna pull it apart. We're gonna keep it pulling apart the whole time. Little micro bend in the knees, belly pulls in and up. We're gonna inhale, strap up overhead. Now bend your elbows and bring the strap just right behind the head. So your arms are kind of in a 90 degree angle and I want you to pull that strap. I want you to pull it so hard that the strap should, is shaking. If it's not shaking, pull the strap harder. You're really working arms, chest, upper back. Keep that belly scooping in and up. Keep pulling that strap. Your arms should be shaking. Good, little micro bend in the knees, belly pulls in and up. Now keep pulling that strap slowly, slowly, Lift it up slowly. It's shaking. And at some point, probably when it's straight up overhead, it'll stop shaking. And then exhale. You're going to lower that strap down in front of you. Good. And we can set the strap aside. We're going to take a few of those side swings again. Separate your feet a little wider than the hips. And we're going to turn side to side. Let your hips turn. Let your arms and shoulders, chest, upper back completely relax. Good. When you turn to the right, left heel lifts. When you turn to the right, when you turn to the left, right heel lifts. So just side to side. Floppy arms, belly pulls in and up. 
Good. Let everything come to still. Step those feet about hip width apart. Just spread the fingers. Make a little fist. Spread the fingers. Make a little fist. So when we pull on that strap, we can we feel that grip strength. We feel our our forearms and our hands working. And then just shake that out. So that's the end of our practice. We're going to come down to the mat for a short relaxation. So come make your way all the way down onto your back. Knees bent or legs stretched out. I'm going to keep my knees bent. Feet a little wide, knees falling in on each other. That helps the low back, the SI joint to open up. And then I'm going to have my arms out to the side in a T position because I want the front of my chest, the front of my shoulders to open up. Everything we do is a forward reaching where the front of the shoulders kind of shorten, those muscles shorten and close off. So I'm going to have arms out to the side in a T position, but you get your arms and upper back as comfortable as possible. Get your low back, hips, legs as comfortable as possible. A little tuck of the chin to lengthen the back of the neck and then relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Make any little adjustments to get a little bit more comfortable. And we're just gonna tune into our breath for a short Shavasana relaxation. Inhale, feel your belly rise. Exhale, feel the belly fall. So it's just a nice, gentle rise with the inhale, fall with the exhale of the belly and breath working together. Let your eyes relax, let your jaw relax. Let the arms and shoulders relax. Let the neck, upper back relax. Mid back, low back relaxes. Hips and pelvis relax. Legs relax. Chest and belly relax. Let the bones and the joints inside the body relax. Taking here a few nice slow inhales, nice slow exhales on your own. Make any adjustments to get a little bit more comfortable. So the spinal relaxation is where the body receives the benefits of the practice. Where the muscles integrate that muscle memory. Where the energy in the body is balanced. Where your breathing soothes the nervous system. Keep relaxing and re-relaxing. Let's wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Bring some small movement to the body arms, legs, hips, and shoulders. Maybe not hugging the knees into the chest and just rolling side to side. Roll it out. Roll out that back body. Upper back, mid back, low back. Bring the knees to center. Use your core. Bring the feet down to the mat. Don't let the back arch. And then we're going to roll onto our side, either side. Use your strong arms to come up all the way up to sitting. We're going to sit comfortable, cross-legged. Legs can be stretched out in front of you. I like to sit on a yoga block, so sit comfortably. But we do want a nice, healthy, long spine. So tailbone moves back a little bit. Heart lifts a little. Belly pulls in and up a little. Shoulders relax down. Heads right over the tailbone. We feel the breath. Let that breath come into the low belly. We'll bring the palms together, thumbs at the heart. And this ends our practice today. Namaste. If you like today's practice, please give it a thumbs up. Please drop a comment, share it with someone you think might enjoy it, or maybe could use a little bit of chest, shoulder, upper back relief. 
Um, if you're not already subscribed to the, my channel, hit the subscribe button. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Um, and I appreciate your support. And until next time, see you soon.